um, any process that, for example, asks a, a uh, candidate for the Supreme Court or any court in any direct form, how would you decide a certain kind of question, is wrong. Um, because a judge ought not to know how he or she is going to decide a question until the judge is confronted by a record, the evidence, and has a chance to deliberate. And so any uh, attempt to find out in advance whether a court would agree or disagree with Roe against Wade, or would be for or against the death penalty, or anything like that, is really misconceived as a, a device in judging the candidate. Um, all that should be relevant is the grasp of the candidate of the basic law, the honesty, the integrity, the ability to communicate. If it's a multiple judge court like the Supreme Court, then the gift of collegiality and things of that sort. And I think in some of the confirmation proceedings, we've gone far beyond that, both sides, incidentally. And it's natural enough. What is more natural than the judicial approach is the political approach. That's the danger of it. The most natural thing is to ask people how they feel about something. They believe O.J. Simpson should have been convicted. And 80% of them in a poll said they would repeal the presumption of innocence in the O.J. trial. Now that makes all the sense in the world. It's also an atrocious possibility. 